Hello and welcome back to another vlog. Today we are in Rotorua in New Zealand. This area is known for geothermal activity and a lot of culture with the Maori people. So today we're starting our time at a geothermal park and then we are going to be ending our day today at the Polynesian Spa, which is some natural hot springs. So we are excited for that. We're also going to be going to Redwood Forest and some other natural sites in between. And the first stop here at the geothermal parks is the geyser show so let's go here at Waiotapu Park every day they're open they have a geyser that goes off at 10 15 it's kind of like a forced geyser to go off and release all that pressure so that is what we're going to go look at now there's actually like an informational speech to kind of give you some more information and then we're going to go back into the park and check out the rest of the park that I'm from here, uh, my, my people, Māori, the iwi that I belong to is Ernest Kōpako, uh, my rangiti Aruri. And it resides on the eastern side shorelines of Rotorua, so Kia ora tato. Uh, Both me and Māori have come back to re-establish Waiatapu after being closed for two and a half years to nearly three. Um, and we have been operating today roughly three months. I'm also going to sing you guys a song, you lovely people. And this song is about a bird singing in the environment. And you'll hear me say, he tangata, he tangata, he tangata, meaning it is for you people, you people, you people. <laughs> All right, so the geyser presentation just got over, so now we're heading back into the main part of the park to go check out the rest of this geothermal park. just on the loop around this geothermal park and we found what I think is the coolest lake here. It is this super green lake. So it's actually a little bit more dull on cloudy days, but we're here on a super bright sunny day right now. So that's why it's so vibrant today and it's amazing. So we are now done in this thermal springs area after seeing the mud pots. Next we are headed to Rainbow Mountain. We just made it to the Rainbow Mountain Trailhead. So what you can do is you can do a couple different things. You can either just do like a 15 minute walk over to an overlook with like a lake down underneath, or you can do like a three mile hike and go all the way up to the top of the Rainbow Mountain. Just because we're trying to do a lot today and see a lot of different things here, we are just gonna do the 15 minute walk and just have the view of the mountain and the lake. We are hiking uphill currently. Beautiful day, started off very chilly this morning and it's already very warm out. So it's closed. It would have been nice if it said closed at the beginning of the hike, but what do you do? Can't see much from here, but next we're heading to another geothermal park. So we're just gonna continue on our way. So yes, unfortunately we are here shortly after Cyclone Gabriel came through. And so we've actually had like a lot of different things that we were hoping to go do that have been closed. You know, obviously it's just, you know, minor inconvenience for us and a pretty big disaster for them. So like obviously way more important for them to, you know, get things cleaned back up and put their lives back together. But yeah, we were up on the Coromandel Peninsula hoping to do some different hikes up that way and those were all closed as well. So we're just trying to be flexible on this trip and you know do what we can still do while we're here in New Zealand. I'm pretty sure a 15 minute walk to get a closed overlook requires ice cream just to kind of like make up for that disappointment. So there might be some ice cream in our future, we'll see. So we are now at Waimangu Volcanic Valley. Not quite sure what is in store, but I'm sure some beautiful, amazing sights in this geothermal area. Honestly, just driving around the countryside 
is so beautiful in this area. We pulled over because I saw some really cute sheep. There's a lot of different pastures of sheep, so definitely take time to explore on your own. So the claim to fame here is that this is the youngest geothermal area in the world. Not sure how they know that, but we grabbed some ice cream cones at the gift shop and we have started the hour long walk. So this one was a little bit more expensive than the other geothermal park we went to. This was about 80 New Zealand dollars total, which is only about 60 USD. So it's not super expensive to come and check this out. finished walking through this geothermal park. The Inferno Lake was the most beautiful blue color ever. Definitely make sure to stop by that one when you're here. We're almost to bus stop two. There's three different options where you can have the bus pick you up. We're going to the second one. It's going to take us back to the parking lot to our car, which is so nice. And then next we're heading to the Redwood Forest. So we'll see you there. So we just got to the redwood forest. These redwood trees were planted back in 1901 and has created this gorgeous redwood forest right on the edge of Rotura. So we just drove here as our next stop. There's an option to do a tree walk, which looked pretty cool through the forest, but that's about $25 per person, which is pretty pricey. And there's a nice path that goes through the forest. So we are opting just to walk on this free path this afternoon. It's truly incredible how big these trees are. I've never seen redwoods before. These are California redwoods. So it's really cool to see them. It's funny that I'm seeing them in New Zealand instead of California because California was closer to me and I've been to California before. However, it's just amazing to be here see these beautiful trees and see how much the settlers did here in New Zealand. They planted tons of forests around these islands and they've made New Zealand a really beautiful place to explore. <laughs> falling into the tree. Dude, it's actually like really soft. All right, so we are wrapping up our time here at the Redwood Forest. This was just like a really quick, fun little stop to check out this little forest. We just did like a little loop that only took us about 15 minutes to get around. So nothing major, just super fun little stop here. And now we're gonna go grab some food before we head over to the Polynesian Springs. So we just finished up supper at Eat Street, which is a street that is filled with tons of different options for food. We went to a place called Ambrosia and we got a three course meal for 30 New Zealand dollars, which is actually a really good deal here because food is so expensive. So each meal you get to choose a starter. So I got the like grilled bread, Sophia got some soup. And then we also got to choose the entree and I got some lamb, which is a super popular dish here in New Zealand. I got a steak that also had prawns because seafood is really big here. And then dessert was called ambrosia, which was like a whipped salad thing with marshmallows and it was really delicious. Next, we're gonna head over to the Polynesian spa to end our day. Oh, it is like a hot Oh, it's actually very hot. So now we have our own little private pool for 30 minutes. It's actually so warm in here. Oh my gosh. This is a hot little hot spring. I have to say it does not smell good here. I'm not quite sure how people do it every day. This um, really toxic sulfury smell. But look at this view. So once we finish up with this private pool, then there's tons of different public pools to go check out, which I think is like $35 per person or $30 per person, something like that. I'm not quite sure, but we're just gonna enjoy our time soaking in the hot springs. After looking at tons of hot springs, we finally get to soak in them and have a relaxing time here, which is a really fun thing to do in Rotura. 
so we're just gonna spend the rest of our night relaxing here at the spa. I do need to go find a cold tub because it was actually quite hot here today. And I was kind of looking forward to a nice relaxing cold tub. All right, the time is up. It went by way too fast, but we're gonna go check out the other pools to end our evening. So included with our ticket, we got a juice. Absolutely delicious and refreshing because it's really hot in these hot pools. This pool is 104. Oh. How cold is this? Oh. Quite cold. Not the coldest cold tub I've been in before. After this, you're gonna go. Deep breath. All right, that's why I that. Although, honestly, like, after you're in it for long enough, you just kind of get used to it, and then it doesn't really bother you. Your turn. Oh, not that. Oh, I don't think. I don't know if I can do it. You can do it. It is now the next day. Yesterday at the Polynesian Spa was very relaxing. They're actually open till 11 o'clock, which is really late. So we just took our time there and had a really nice time. Today, we we're just packing up to continue our road trip through New Zealand. We also found out yesterday that on Mondays, most restaurants are closed. We wanted to try a traditional Maori meal as there's a lot of culture here in this area. However, almost all the restaurants were closed, which is kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. Rotura is the area that honestly has so much to see and I was really blown away by the amount of geothermal stops there are to make. You could make so many more stops than we did. However, we feel like we saw a lot of really cool geothermal sites and had a really nice time in this beautiful area. So much nature, so much hiking, so many things to do. So yeah, we're really enjoying our time here in New Zealand. And stay tuned as we will see you in the next one in Hobbiton. So we will see you there.